Tiffany, Chris, Christian, hey, Will Kenish. I am at 326 Coronado. This is the family room space. It's actually quite big. Uh, there's a lot of room here. Goes out to the back deck. The deck looks like it's about 10 by 10. And then lots of open space currently out to the back. When I say open space, I mean land that's probably going to be developed, but currently is not. But it's nice and wide open right now. Back into the house. So here we've got uh, an actual wood-burning fireplace, as you can see. Tile surround, wood detail above, timber inside, big beam. Here we've got the bathroom. It's a half bath with little vanity and then water closet, vinyl floor and then over here is the entrance. Entrance is uh, got like a vinyl um, at the entry for the flooring. Uh, it looks like vinyl plank. Here we've got a, a coat closet and then here we've got uh, like a, a pantry or linen closet however you'd want to use it. And we go around the corner and we come to the kitchen. Kitchen's built in, space here. Looks like newer stainless steel appliances, maple cabinetry, uh, Formica countertops, stainless steel sink, electric, um, glass top or ceramic top uh, stainless steel oven and here it's got a uh, room for a microwave above the oven looks like that is coming soon I'm just guessing based on the fact that there's some electrical changes going on next to it okay so I've gone up the stairs I'm now at the top of the stairs up here we've got uh, Washer and dryer, some nice built-in shelving. It's a higher end washer and dryer, it looks like. You've got a little space for storage. On the floor, they've got like vinyl plank put in. It looks as if they've got new carpet uh, going up the stairs and all throughout the second floor. First door to the left here. We see a large master closet or master bedroom, pardon me. Big window. They've got a, uh, a freestanding AC unit here, which I'm guessing is not included, but I'll check the notes. And then we've got the master closet uh, here. So I'll kind of double wide type storage. And then very nice uh, Hunter ceiling fan higher end uh, wall hanging curtain rod gray uh, nice looking paint on all the walls looks like a, looks like a separate color on the ceiling with a white ceiling and then we come out to the hallway hallway's got uh, vinyl hallway bath has vinyl plank floors newer stool solid surface Quartz top, newer looking cabinet, matching uh, vanity, and then a one piece shower, or I guess three piece, four piece shower here. Original chrome hardware in the shower. And then on all the walls, the texture is a, a knockdown texture. Most of the rooms have a separate wall color versus ceiling color. The bathroom is different. Here we go to the uh, middle bedroom, smaller bedroom. Still plenty of space in here. They don't currently have it set up as a bed space. The Where the desk is would certainly have enough room for a bed. Small closet here and then another closet over here. So they have built this to be more like an office space. So they've got uh, shelving in a closet there.
And so there's a, in, in this space, there's something coming up from down below. So I'm guessing the furnace and water heater vent comes up through that wall. And then here we've got the uh, closet, plenty of room in there. So this room is a little bit smaller, but livable. Darker gray paint in here. We go into the third bedroom. Third bedroom is kind of a very traditional bedroom space. We've got sliding doors for the, the closet. Kind of a bluish grayish wall color. And then looking out the back. So this is the the view from the back. It's, like I said before, lots of open space. You can see that for sale sign across the street. So somebody may be putting something out there sometime soon. Who knows? And then there's a big storage barn or shed over there as well. So I will take some pictures of any little details I can find and we'll talk to you guys soon.